welcome to this FCPX tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a cool intro or outro or just a titles sort of generator um, within FCPX using the resources available to you in FCPX. It's really simple but really effective. So, um, so let's get over into FCPX. So as you can see, I've got my FCPX open here and I've already got a project running. It's not really, it's just sort of the default thing that I would use and here just these um, audio clip or video clips here they're just my intro and outro that you see on every video the, the audio clip at the bottom here it's greyed out because it's disabled currently to quick tip for you to enable or disable either an audio clip video clip within your timeline just press V on the keyboard and it will enable or disable something um, so I'm just going to show you how to do this tutorial I'm going to show this tutorial um, just in this area here so you'll start a new one with your own project settings so first things first we're gonna go to our generator browser and this little number two here is our generator browser and I'm gonna click so you could click to, to view the generators browser or hide the generators browser so we want to obviously view the generators browser and I'm actually gonna look for the clouds you see that I can't see the clouds the reason I can't see the clouds people make this mistake all the time is because I've got my textures selected so generally, just as a rule of thumb, unless until you get used to where everything is under which title, just select all and then you will have all of the generators available in, in that browser. So like I said, we're just going to use the clouds. So I'm going to left click, select the clouds and drag it over into my timeline. Now you notice it's a bit long at the moment, so I want to decrease this generator in length. I can't see the end of it, so instead of scrolling over like so, I'm just going to zoom out of my timeline with a little zoom in and out buttons here or I can drag the cursor and drag the, the, the button and just um, drag it down slightly so it makes it a little bit shorter. Like I said this is just a tutorial for so for this tutorial it really doesn't matter how long the, um, the actual generator is but for you it will be personal preference um, uh, and you will decide how long you want that generator to be for. Um, so, there's a few things I want to do to this generator. I want to get rid of this haze um, around this area here. And you'll also notice if I play through it, my generator, the clouds actually move towards the screen. And I actually want them moving from left to right across the screen. So, we can do this quite easily in our, um, in our inspector. And so, we're going to go over here to the generators tab. So make sure we've got generator selected. And then all we're going to do to get rid of this haze around here is we're just gonna drag the haze down a little bit and you'll see it removes the haze. If we increase the random pattern, it will just change the pattern of the cloud. So we just want this on one for now. And the dolly is just um, the way the clouds move left or right, oh sorry, forward or backwards. Um, so we're just gonna leave this on around three um, you can either use the scale the the, the um, slider to drag up or down or you can just double click here press your button and, and, and press your number your required number press enter um, so then we can increase the number of clouds that we have or decrease the number of clouds so for me I'm just gonna leave this around seven um, no real reason I'm just gonna leave it around seven and then the tracking I'm gonna drag this up to 100 now what this will do it will make the clouds move from left to right as you're looking at the screen so that's the generator and pretty much all I want to do to the generator I don't want to do anything else to the generator that's the way I want it set up you might choose for something different excellent that's, that's good that's what this is all about that's what I really enjoy about my tutorials um, take what you want from the tutorial and make make what you want with it make it yours you know you don't have to stick to what I do so then we're going to um, go to our text browser and we're going to go to our 3d cinematic and again this is just me that what I want to do so it's totally up to you what you do um, and then I'm going to this shadow here I'm going to drag this into my in above my cloud generator and increase this shadow in um, in length just by dragging and um, 
and and sort of um, buffering across or scratching across to um, to increase or decrease the length. So then, if I play through this um, this timeline now, you'll see this is the sort of view I will get. But what I'm going to do, because I want to see the clouds behind it, I want this the title text here to um, also take on the form of the background or the shape of the the the, um, the the background image. So the way we do this again, we highlight the um, the text generator and we'll go up here to the title and we change the background we we'll deselect the background sorry and turn the background off and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, leave the rest as it is pretty standard and then select the text in the inspector now obviously you can put your text here um, just put your own text whatever it is you want to do so this is what we're gonna we're gonna have and then where if we can change the font here if you want but I'm just gonna leave the font um, as standard because I think it looks quite cool and then um, I'm going to open up this advanced tab here and I'm going to drag down the tracking slightly so it brings in the text a little bit closer but not too close but I'm gonna bring the, the, the text in a little bit closer so I'm happy with that and then down here we could change our materials if we wanted to um, but do we really want to change the materials um, for me like I said I want to match the background so I'm not gonna change any materials I'm just gonna go um, back Check that everything's okay on my title. Am I everything okay? Yep, I'm happy with everything on my title. And then I'm gonna go to um, the video. So text, video. Now on the video, all I'm simply going to do is I'm gonna, because this comes in already animated like so, it's quite effective. I'm gonna leave the animation as it is I'm happy with the animation but all I'm going to do on this comp compositing mode I'm going to change the um, the blend mode um, there's, there's quite a few that you could have generally you want um, you want sort of the multiply so it takes on the form of the background but it just to differentiate between the background and the text more easily you want to go with the um, the linear burn so it just on the lines it just burns the outer lines as I said linear burn so the 3d lines it burns the 3d lines and then I suppose what we could do is we could go back to our um, um, our our text and on the depth what could we do let's have a look could we, we could um, we could increase the depth of our 3d text like so just drag the slider and if 100 is not enough just grab the 100 and then scroll up the way so you could um, you, could, you could do this and and then this looks quite nice so if we watch this you know I'm not gonna do too much to it I said it was really simple really easy but effective all I would do is maybe add a bit of music to it um, so just nice and easy let that play through the timeline Obviously, it's this long, so that's why it takes so long. One of the things it will do is just the text will just go away. So what you might want to do is um, is keyframe a fade out for the text. So the way we could do this is go back to video and then go to our opacity. And as we come towards the end of our text, where we want to start the keyframe or start it fading out, place our um, our timeline scrub our, um, our timeline marker and then click the little plus button on this opacity come to the end of our um, text the end of our text and just drag the opacity down and it will auto keyframe for you so it will make it look a little bit more professional as it fades out like so
so it looks a little bit more professional but what we could also do I suppose we could put a filter on this background as well um, shall we have a look so if we go over here to our our um, effects browser we could apply an effect not not a filter apologies um, but there are very few that would look really good with this clouds so I suppose um, you want to highlight the clouds and like I said the very few that would um, really do do the clouds any justice I suppose you could use this um, insect eye and then as this fades in with the insect eye so obviously we've just dragged this insect eye onto my um, cloud generator um, so all I'm gonna do as as we bring this in so I'm gonna keyframe the insect eye on my generator of my clouds you'll notice this effect here insect eye we could have the amount up to 70% let's say we can click the keyframe and as the text comes in we could scale the insect eye right down so there's none so then that will just give it another feel just a different feel so that's quite a nice um, a nice effect again so obviously we're going to then fade our text out so you can let it play through and as our text starts to fade out if we just keyframe the insect eye again and as the text fades out we just drag this in insect eye once more up to 80 something percent okay so then this will give quite a nice effect but simple effect as well so yeah very very simple I hope this um, this tutorial has been of some help and um, and you are able to apply it somewhere in um, in a project that you use thanks a lot for watching and um, take care and i'll be back soon i've got some really really cool um and light tutorials coming up so um say stay tuned for them every friday in my videos release catch you soon bye.